Hey friends, Cherie here from Cherie's Alchemy. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. 22. We just have two days left, y'all. Well, today I had something different planned, um, but I've been at the mall all day with my daughter, Mall of America. If you know anything about Mall of America, you know it is enormous. It's like exhausting. And I didn't have it in me to finish editing. And when I got home, I had a large box on the porch. And so instead of editing, finishing the editing on that video tonight, I'm going to unbox this box with you guys. So if you want to see what I got today, stay tuned. Is the box it's enormous it's enormous this is my last pattern haul of 2021 i hope i don't plan to do any new year's eve sales this is the last one this is going to be the last one y'all <laughs> let me know in the comments if you think this is going to be the last one <laughs> all right let's get this open and see what's inside it's huge all right friends so here's the box I'm sitting in my front living room by the fireplace. I'm gonna have a blanket. I'm gonna have some hot chocolate and we're gonna go through these patterns. I'm gonna go ahead and sort them by brand. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it. Now I should say also, uh, these were all purchased um, with the online sale that I told you guys about a couple days ago, uh, somethingdelightful.com. All right, friends, so let's get started. First pattern I'm gonna show you is for a men's. It is Vogue 1854. And I actually got this in two sizes because I'm gonna try to make these for both my husband and my son. And I wasn't sure. My son likes his track pants very loose. And so I went on and got the larger size also um, just so I can accommodate that easily. So these are considered fitted tapered leg jogger style pants with rib neck cuffs and elastic waist and drawstring cord, side pockets and back leg seam. And so yeah, both my husband and my son, um, these would work well for them for just lounging around the house. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I do wanna sew a little bit more for them. Uh, so those will be cute. So I did pick up that one men's pattern. There were some other men's patterns that I like, but I had to be realistic. I mean, I'm not going to be sewing that much for them. Most of my sewing time is going to be for me. <laughs> so look at this vintage Vogue reprint pattern. I thought this was gorgeous. And I want to make view B. Though they're all cute, but I feel like this is the one that I would most likely wear, but I also like view. Oh, that's also view V. Yeah, see, I like view V. I feel like that length is not really fitting in my lifestyle, um, but I thought this would be really, really cute. Love that. So this is a vintage reprint pattern. It says here, lined cape with or without shaped collar, has slashed arm openings, concealed button, and loop fastenings, length variations. And it's calling for woolens, wool flannel, double knits, and brocades. And I gave you guys a little peek at some of my brocade stash um, a couple Vlogmas videos ago. And so, yeah, I have a lot of fabric. I have a lot of wool and a lot of brocades that I would like to sew up. And I feel like these, you know, I could make something that I would wear just in a wool, like, you know, in the car or just out uh, in winter. But boy, this would be gorgeous in a fancy brocade also. 
So yeah, I'm excited to give that a try at some point. I also got this other vintage reprint pattern. This is Vogue 8875. The dress is beautiful. I might try to make that at some point. But honestly, I got this for this what's considered a coat. But I want to make this as a robe. I thought this would be a beautiful robe. Look at the collar and then these um, cropped sleeves, the cinched waist. I mean, it would be a beautiful overcoat too. But for me in the winter, like, if it's cold enough for me to like need to wear a coat, I would never have the sh sleeves that short and that open in the front. And I don't know. When I look at this, I just, I see, I see a beautiful robe. Maybe because I'm on the whole um, lounge wear pajama kick right now. But that, that's what that stuck out to me for. So yes, it is, it has a detachable collar, a belt, and then let's see if it talks about fabrics. Okay, for B is calling for wool crepes, flannels, worsted wools. Yeah. I thought that was really pretty. So that is Vogue 8875. And then continuing on the pajama loungewear theme, look at this pattern. I was so excited to see this on the website. I didn't see it in the book. I don't know if this is an old pattern or a new pattern, but I am here for it. This is Vogue 1852. This comes in a size range, extra small to extra large. So all the sizes are included in this one. Here's the back for the line drawings. You have here the robe with a belt, a top, a dress, and pants. And it's calling for two-way stretch knit fabrics. You need a 50% cross grain stretch. So cotton spandex, rayon spandex, ITY knits as well. And you guys know I have a lot of those in my stack. And I'm, this is going to get put aside and I'm actually gonna add this pattern directly to my fall winter Luke's Lounge pajama uh, sewing plans. Love this. I'm gonna put that up here. I have a quick sip of my hot chocolate. I hope you guys checked out my Vlogmas video over on my other channel and saw that hot chocolate, homemade hot chocolate recipe I shared. That's what I'm drinking right now. I'm drinking the cinnamon one. So yummy. Okay, this dress. I love all the views. I want to make all the views. This is such a feminine, flattering shape. This is Vogue 8577. Look at This is calling for Batiste, gingham, wash silk, lightweight linens. That's what I was thinking about, making this in a linen. And also I have some cotton shirtings that I think this could also be really pretty in. It uses a good amount of fabric, but not as much as I thought considering the skirt. Um, if you have 60 inch wide fabric and you need to make the largest size, the most fabric you'll need is five and a quarter inches, which is kind of a lot. I don't usually buy five yards of linen. So I have to look at my stash and see what I have more than five yards of, and that will be what I choose um, to use for the first time I make this. But I love them all, and I'm fine with the shorter length on this too because the skirt is full. What caught me here, I love the waist detail, and I love these pockets. I don't know, I just love that. It just looks so elegant and feminine. Easy to wear. I'm still in love with dresses for summer. Just no mixing and matching. You just pull a dress out of your closet. You put it on with some flats or some sandals or some wedges, and you're ready to go. <laughs> Easy. So I definitely will be adding more dresses to my summer wardrobe. So again, in love with this Vogue 8577. And again, somehow this is a pattern that I've I had never seen this one before. All right. A couple more Vogue patterns. I got this little pantsuit pattern mainly for this jacket. Love that. I do like these uh, kind of straight slightly wide 
leg pants as well. Yeah, I, I'm not big into the cropped um, with the boots. It's cute, but that doesn't usually work well for me. But this, this would be a good style of pant for me. But I love especially this jacket. I want to, I still, I had that on my list for um, the Make 9 2021 was to make a Chanel style jacket and I never made it. So I have to make um, a couple of them in 2022. And this is Vogue 1830. I'm getting all excited about sharing the pattern and didn't tell you the number. So this has the two different style jackets and the pants in two lengths as well. Fabric options are medium weight wools, tweeds, jacquards. This is a great pattern. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this one aside for fall winter plans also. And then the final thing I got are these two blouse patterns. The first one is Vogue 1412, Rebecca Taylor. Love this, love that. This is calling, it looks like it should call for like rayons and chalets. Let's see. It says here, heavy Georgettes, crepe de chines, and chamus. But I think a nice rayon, a nice chalet should be great in that. That's what I'm probably going to use. So again, this is Vogue 1412. Final blouse, just an easy breezy to wear. I actually like both of these, but my preference is this one. Um, this is Vogue 1387. And very similar calling for woven fabrics, broadcloths, chamus, crepe de chines. Again, I think a rayon. I think even this one, I mean, a lightweight gauze could be really pretty with that. So that is Vogue 1387. So that's it for the Vogue patterns. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over there as well. Okay, next we're going to do Butterick. First up is Butterick 6859. I like all the pieces. You're getting a dress, a top, a short sleeve top, a long sleeve top, a skirt and pants all on this one pattern. I mean, that's just a great casual, loungy at home but use cute fabric pattern so this is going aside to get added into the sewing plans for the fall and winter over the next three months or so this is again butterick 6859 and this is calling for moderate stretch knits your jerseys your interlocks ponties french terry sweatshirt fleece I have to look through I think I have a couple of nicer sweatshirt fleece fabrics. That might be nice to make these pants and even a dress out of, quite honestly. That could be a really nice and cozy uh, fabric to use. For those, and you see how they're wearing these like outside. That's what I'm going for. It's like, I mean, I would sleep in this. <laughs> But you can also wear it outside. And this will just be like a house dress for me. Yeah. But you do it in a cute print. So if you need to run outside, you can run outside. So yeah, this is speaking to me for the Lux Lounge. I'm moving that over there. I picked up this basic top pattern. Just, you know, I don't like how they color blocked and fabric blocked. I think they are really making this look a little homely. This is Butterick 6217. I would probably do this like all in a solid color. You know, all in the same color, all in the same print. If I wanted to do the same print, I would just join these pieces together so that it was just all one thing. But I got it because this calls for woven fabrics. And so I thought this was just a nice pattern for woven tank tops and t-shirts. So this is calling for cottons, chalets. It looks like you can also use cotton knits as well. So it must be graded for wovens and knits, which is kind of nice, right? Also your linens, like that's what I was thinking about, and your rayons. So that's why I got this. Like I said, I probably won't do the blocking like this, 
I would just tape those together, you know, folding back the seam allowance and just have that be all one shirt without any kind of band. But I liked the shape and the thought of it. So again, Butterick 6214. I'm not gonna put that one aside for now. That would be more for spring, summer. Here, this is Butterick 6854. I've been wanting this pattern and they were out of stock in my store the two times I tried to get it. And I mainly wanted it for view C. I thought that would be a cute, cozy, at home, kind of turtleneck tunic dress to wear just with leggings, again, for lounging. I like the other tops too, but this is really what I'm interested in making. This is a Palmer Pletch pattern, calling for stretch knits and sweater knits. And yeah, it's just a cute, you know, a versatile top and tunic. So again, that is Butterick 6854. And because I want to make this, this is going over in the pile. Okay. Also got Butterick 5928. I like all of these except for this one. I feel like that wouldn't be flattering on my rear end to have all that fabric poking out, but I especially love the red. This I probably wouldn't make either, the kind of best thing. Love C, I'm good with this one with the contrast. That could also be cute way to make it dressing. And this is calling for woven fabrics. It's designed for medium weight woven fabrics. So we're talking about your wool crepes, your gabardines, your wool blends, which is kind of cool. For that contrast one, it's talking about satin and sequin fabrics, like that would be cute to dress it up, and then you need some lining fabric. But yeah, it's considered a very easy pattern. I can see this coming together really quickly. I have lots of fabric in my stash that this would work with, so I'm going to actually put this over here in the make soon pile. I went on and picked up this uh, fast and easy pattern, Butterick 6250. Again, I have a lot of flannels and a lot of wools, um, where I feel like this could be just a quick, easy way to use those up. Love, especially view B. I think that is my favorite. That's probably what I will make. And so, yeah, it is a fabric hog, but you can see, um, but you can see it'll come together pretty quickly. So again, I would have to just look through my, I know I have a lot of flannels where I have at least five yards, so that would be something good to start with to test it out. But I feel like that is a Cherie coat. And then I have one final one to show you from Butterick. This is another pattern that I've been wanting and they did not have it in the stores when I uh, tried to get it twice. And so I love this little wardrobe pattern. This is Butterick 6738. And this comes with the jacket, the top, the pants, the dress, and the skirt. Wonderful deal for $3 and some cents. And I love all the pieces. I would make all of the pieces and gladly wear all of the pieces. And so I'm going to put this aside. I feel like this would be even that green tweed that I pulled. I have that in kind of a um, plum color. Might pull that for that and then make a plum knit dress. That could be really cute. Yeah, loving that. Did I say the number? Butterick 6738. Okay, final pile, McCall's. Mm, I'm getting so cozy here. The fire is so nice and warm. hot chocolate is just what I needed. Okay, pants. I kind of want to make myself some joggers, y'all. I kind of want to make some woven, you know, jogger looking pants. And I've seen some where they all look just a little bit too slim to the leg for me. This one looks like it's going to have 
um, it'll be loose enough for how I would like to wear it. I kind of also like these uh, little Palazzo crop pants also. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I like them. I don't, I would have to try them out to see how they look on me, but I do like that look. Um, but anyway, these are calling for twills, linens, which is what I'm thinking about using. Denim, that would be great too. Chino, that would be great too. And so, yeah, this is McCall's 8206. And I definitely want to try to make view A, but for sure view B. So I'm going to actually put this aside because I could wear those in the fall. And, well, it's officially winter now, so I could wear those over the next three months. And then here, I just, <laughs> I mean, I'm here for all of this. I don't know if I would wear these that, that's like an awkward length to me. Like I would do this as a skirt before I would do that as like super cropped. I don't even know what you call those. They're not clam diggers. They're too short to even be clam diggers. I'm not sure. But love this look. Love everything about it. This is McCall's 7876. Yeah, and so you get the two lengths of the jacket and the two lengths of the pants on this pattern. And it is calling for your um, woven suiting fabrics, wool blends, gabardine, and then it's lined. So you'll need some lining fabric. But yeah, I'm going to put this on the side too. Because I would actually really like to try to make that blazer. And I like the pants. Got this top because, you know, why not? I really like this. I like all of them. But I feel like this one is my favorite. So I would definitely start out by making view C. This is the Waverly McCall's pattern. And let's see here. This is calling for... Crepes, cotton blends, chalets, chamoos, got a lot of those in my stash. And it doesn't take too, too much fabric for the view that I like, which is view C. We're talking about two and a half yards of fabric. That's not bad. So yeah, McCall's 8147. I'm gonna put that aside. My, my put aside pile is getting really big. Here again, another kind of vest jacket thing, which I thought would be cute for just having to throw on if I need to run out, but also just having in the house if I get a little chilly. I kind of want to make this in like a um, structured knit if I can. Let's see what kind of fabric this is calling for. Sateens, crepes, linen, wool blend, synthetic leather, and suede. I feel like I could make this in a ponty knit. I really do. So yeah, this is McCall's 7332. And you have here basically four variations of the same, you know, basic jacket. Or you can do a sleeveless at the best. But I like that. I like that a lot. Then I got this one too. Really love View B. View A, View B, like those a lot. Um, and so this looks like it should call for knits. Yes, this calls for knit fabrics. This is McCall's 6996, calling for knit fabrics, double knits, jerseys, interlock. And I just love them. And see, this is a really feminine back here with a little flounce, but I also like it straight. But this is the one that I would want to make first. Really, really like that. So again, McCall's 6998. Also got this legging pattern. I think I had bought this pattern in a smaller size to make some for my daughter. And I bought a similar pattern to this for shorts to make to wear under my dresses in the summertime. And so I went on and picked this up because I picked up some really cool knit fabrics. I have some in order. And then I showed you one uh, vlogmas last week, a black one that I got at Joann's. I also have some stretchy leather look 
fabric that I got at Joann's last year, which I think would be cute. I saw those Spanx um, leather, faux leather jeggings, and I thought that would be cute to make for myself. And so this could be a nice pattern to use. Worth a try. This is McCall 6173. And you can see here you have, you know, variations of the same pants. The variations are just around like the slouchiness at the ankle. One view looks like it has like little zippers at the ankle. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, same pants. Looks like view A also is cut more like a jacking and views B and C are cut like leggings. So yeah, you clearly need, you know, stretch knit fabric for these. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try. I grabbed this pattern more for summer. I always say I don't wear shorts, but then I'm thinking maybe I'll try to make myself a pair of shorts. These red ones really jump out at me. I also like these Capri's View D. So that's what I got this pattern for. 6930 McCall's. Cute, my daughter would love those shorts. I probably, I should have gotten this in the smaller size for her too. I wasn't even thinking. But anyway, this is calling for wovens. It says crepes, so you can make them dressy, I guess. Sateens, linen, denim, cotton blends. So lots of great woven options. Again, McCall's 6930. I picked up this just simple dress. This will go into my, you know, kind of at-home loungewear for spring and summer, basically making variations of these dresses. It's a quick and easy dress, and it calls for knit fabric. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I love the Empire uh, bust line. And again, it's just, I mean, you can wear this dress on vacation. You can wear it out, you know, dress it up with wedges. I plan on using it as like house dresses, you know, for spring and summer. So again, McCall's 5893. Almost done, second to last one. I thought this was really cute. Kind of romper, jumper. I don't usually wear jumpers. I don't know why I keep buying these patterns. I need to just make one and like get over that <laughs> issue that I have. But anyway, this is McCall 7778. I thought this was a dress at first. I didn't realize it was pants. And I feel like I would modify that and make that as a dress. Because I feel like that's a pretty dress. I really do. But it's super wide legs in the pants. Which I did not realize. I thought that this was a dress and that this was the romper. Or maybe it is. Oh, it is. Okay, 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 okay. So two views are the dress and then two views are the rompers. Same tops. Okay, that makes so much more sense because I was just like, I thought this was a dress when I bought it. So this is calling for woven fabrics. Linens, cotton blends, chalets, and also stable knits. So that's nice. So this is uh, McCall's 7778 and I would definitely make the dresses. Definitely. I mean, those are very flattering. Love this kind of sweetheart neckline on there. Yeah. All right, now the last one, the last one. We're gonna end on <laughs> some more pajamas and loungewear. Look at how cute this pattern is. Love this robe, love the shorter length, cute pants, you know. I mean, what can I say? I'm ready for it. This is McCall's 7875. This is um, graded for wovens. So here it says, oh, it's graded for both again. Excuse me. So see, I like a pattern like that. So I can use my wovens, my crepes, my chamoos, crepe de chines, but I can also use cotton knits. This is perfect. This is gonna go a long way with me working through my stash, making some nicer pajamas and loungewear for 2022. All right, that is again McCall's 7875. And this is going to wrap up my Vlogmas 
day 2022 video. The video that I plan for you guys today, I will put up tomorrow. Um, you can probably hear my voice. I am tired. I'm going to heat up the rest of my hot chocolate and take a bubble bath and get into the bed early tonight. <laughs> And then tomorrow we'll be filled with editing videos and finally starting to wrap the Christmas presents. So I thank you guys for joining me. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this final haul of 2021. You like the patterns that I got? It's so funny. I feel like I've seen all the patterns and then every time I go, there are patterns like, oh, I've never seen this one before. And so I love catching the sales. I love having my creative juices going. This is really good for me too because I have gone through and pulled out so many patterns that I know I will never sell to pass on and share with you guys in 2022. So yeah, I'm excited about this refresh and this new look and especially really continuing to work to build my wardrobe, the wardrobe of my dreams in 2022. Okay, guys, I hope you'll join me. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. If the patterns are still on sale, I will put the link in the website. But again, this is also for you to just start jotting down things you like and keeping your list so you are ready the next time patterns go on sale, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.